today we're going to do some more addition with fractions. Let's add 1 fourth plus 3 eighths. Hmm, I've got a problem here, don't I? I can't express this fraction uh, because they have different denominators. I wonder, is there a way that I could turn this 1 fourth fraction into a fraction expressed in eighths? Is there an equivalent fraction for that? 1 fourth equals 2 eighths, you're right. So let's exchange that for 2 eighths. Now we can do our 1 fourth plus 3 eighths because we can put it together and the answer is 5 eighths. Let's do another one. Let's try 1 third plus 2 sixths. What do we need to do here? We need to convert, don't we? Let's turn that 1 third into 2 sixths, and then we can put it together. So we get 4 sixths. Is that lowest terms? No, it's not. Let's, let's find an equivalent fraction. Ah, yes, 2 thirds. So 1 third plus 2 sixths equals 2 thirds. Let's do another one. Let's write down our problem this time. So I'm going to do 1 sixth plus 1 half. So let's get that out. 1 sixth plus 1 half. What can we do to solve this problem? Let's exchange this 1 half for an equivalent fraction in sixths. 1 half is 3 sixths. So let's put that here. And let's write down what we've done. So now we have 1 sixth plus 3 sixths. We can do that. It's 4 sixths. And is this lowest terms? No, it's 2 thirds is an equivalent fraction. All right, let's do another one. Let's do 1 half plus 2 thirds. One half plus two thirds. Hmm. Well, I can't really turn halves into thirds, and I can't turn these thirds into halves. So we need to find an equivalent fraction that they have in common. And, and let's see. What do they have in common? Six, right? One half equals. 3 sixths, so we can exchange, and 2 thirds, 2 thirds equals 4 sixths, so we're going to need our extra fraction pieces. So we need 1, 3, So now we have the one half that we exchanged to three sixths plus two thirds that we turned into four sixths, which equals seven sixths, which is an improper fraction. So that means we need to change it to a mixed number, one and one sixth. Okay, I have another problem for us to try. Let's try 2 sixths plus 1 third plus 1 ninth. So 2 sixths plus 1 third plus 1 ninth. 
What can we do here? I think we have to convert them all to ninths, don't we? So 2 6 equals how many ninths? Yeah, 3 ninths. So we can exchange for 3 ninths. And 1 third equals 3 ninths. Okay, so now we have 3 ninths plus 3 ninths plus one ninth, which gives us seven ninths. Let's do one fourth plus one fourth plus three ninths. So we're going to do one fourth plus one fourth plus three ninths. One fourth, one fourth, three ninths. Okay, what can we do here? Can we can't get fourths to ninths? We could do. Let's see. We could. This makes a half. So does that help us if we do a half? Let's just write what we've done. One half plus three ninths. No, it doesn't help us. Is there an equivalent fraction for both of these halves and ninths, something that they share? What about sixths? To three sixths, and this would be two sixths. So I've changed this to three sixths plus two sixths, which equals five sixths. So we've seen with addition that we always have to change the fractions um, that have different denominators into a family of the same denominator so that we can do that addition. Maybe you'd like to do more.